So, how you make it out? You want to know about droning in a national park. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you exactly how you can drone in a national park. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, check the Hover app, see what it has to say. Right now it says caution. We'll see caution. No fly zone. We'll go down to the map. Why is it a no fly zone? Because we're in the heart of a national park. So, I'll show you around that. We'll be able to drone. You just wait and see. So you wanted to know how to drone in a national park. First thing you need is a little kid to hold your drone. You can't put propellers on it because the park ranger will give you a ticket. You know, what are you gonna do? But this is the only way. So one of the things is, is that uh, a lot of locations that are no-fly zones, DJI has them geofenced, which means the software won't allow you to take off. But apparently the Hopewell Furnace uh, National Park isn't one of those locations. All right, so there's no real way to drone in a national park unless you go to the superintendent of that particular park and ask permission. Your chances of getting permission depending on the park, like this park is about history, it's not about uh, wildlife. This was an iron furnace that started in the 1700s. It made uh, cannons for the Civil War. It's been around a long time. But to get the permission to drone, you might have a chance here. You know, it closes at 5 p.m., you might get special dispensation. But other than that, don't do it. Federal government doesn't mess around when they start uh, fining. All right, so we decided to go somewhere where you could drone. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you liked what you saw, you can thank me by subscribing.